So this giant contraption is a deck motion simulator, and it's going to mimic the motion of a ship at sea while being on land. Uh, triangle itself is 46 feet in every direction, and it should be capable of lifting 100 tons when it's complete. Uh, it's going to facilitate the ability for us to put a piece of equipment or vehicle or platform into an environment that it would be jostled around a dynamic deck motion situation. Uh, so during various sea states, open up our testing capabilities for uh, risk reduction and uh, the further uh, analysis of designs and validation and stuff like that uh, right here in our backyard. There's a definite deficit in the ability to do shipboard testing in a quick time manner. You have to work with the fleet, you have to work with the, the boat, and you have to work around the actual Navy schedules in order to do any sort of testing. Get the piece of equipment onto a ship, bring it out to sea, hope that we run into the situations that we really want to see the piece of equipment in, and then somehow record that information and then bring it back to the design table. This is filling that deficit by being able to generate those scenarios on demand uh, at low cost with a high level of frequency so we can churn out uh, better designs with a higher level of confidence. Uh, it doesn't matter what's actually being tested, all that really matters is that the unit under test is experiencing what it would see at sea. So we've had interest in the platform ranging from a missile launching vehicle all the way down to uh, virtual reality experimentation on seasickness. There's just been a lot of genuine interest for this platform, so getting it up and running is, a, is our first priority. I think the coolest thing about this platform itself is just the sheer size of it and what it's going to be able to lift. The fact that this was originally designed for an M1 Abrams and lift something like 100 tons is just cool because what five-year-old doesn't want to play with really big toys? 